guys, today's book is called Say Hello to Zorro. I know many of you have pets at home, so this one I thought was a fun book to read today. Say Hello to Zorro by Carter Goodrich. Mr. Bud had it pretty good. Everything was just right. He had his own house. His own bed, his own toys, his own dish. But most of all, he had his own schedule. And everybody stuck to the schedule. It went like this. One, wake up time. Two, biscuit then a walk time. Three, nap time. Four, shift position and nap some more time. Five, wait and watch time. Six, greet and make a fuss time. Seven, quick backyard time. Eight, dinner time. Nine, after dinner walk time. Ten, movie, then bedtime. That was it. That was the schedule. And everybody stuck to the schedule. No exceptions. One day, right at greet and make a fuss time, there was a stranger. Mr. Bud, say hello to Zorro. Zorro is moving in with us. Mr. Bud, what kind of name is Mr. Bud? What kind of name is Zorro? And there was trouble. Stop it! No! Now you two get along, they were told. It wasn't easy at first. Zorro had his own things. And he could be bossy. Beat it. Mr. Bud had his own things. And he could be grumpy. What do you want? But then... Something surprising happened. Mr. Bud and Zorro found out they had the same schedule. Suddenly, the walks were more fun. <laughs> Nap time was more comfortable. Greet and make a fuss time was much louder. Even movie than bedtime was more exciting. So even though Mr. Bud was still sometimes grumpy, and Zorro could still be pretty bossy, they became best friends. And everybody stuck to the schedule. Hope you had fun listening to today's story. 